Hello, hello, my friends. Yay, it is finally here. My spring Kringle candle releases have arrived. So today I wanted to share with you my first sniff impressions. I have not burned any of these yet. In fact, they arrived on my doorstep last night. So I'm very excited to share them with you because um, I've already sniffed through them, but um, some of these are surprising. We'll just leave it at that. I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador. However, I purchased all of these candles that I have right here with my own money. I did not apply for the Ambassador Program until about a month ago. And by then they had already sent out their PR to their ambassadors. So I didn't quite make the cutoff and that's totally fine, you guys, right? I mean, some of you may actually like this video a little bit more knowing that I spent my own money on these candles. Um, but I always want to be forthcoming and let you guys know that I am an ambassador for the brand. But um, yes, as always, these opinions are true and honest. So we will go ahead and dive into these um, first thoughts right now. And um, I will ha just have a little bit of housekeeping at the end of this video. So if you're curious to hear my thoughts about that, um, about just some other things, uh, make sure that you stay tuned. All right, let's go ahead and start with the Kringle releases. Now, I went ahead and I picked up two of the fragrances in the new Three Wick 100% Soy Wax Formula because um, I had a feeling that I would like these. And then the other ones are the Daylights that came in a bundle that was, what was it? I think it was if I spent like $125, I got a, how many Daylights were in here? Like eight, 12 Daylights? There was like a whole Daylight bundle that came with this and it included um, all of the fragrances of the new spring collection in there, as well as some of their old and returning favorites. Now, I'm not gonna go through all of the Daylight Bundle with you just because some of those fragrance are already in their core collection. And honestly, I already gave some of those away to a friend of mine who was a little bit new to Kringle fragrances. But let's go ahead and start out with the candle that I knew, I knew when I heard what it was compared to, and then I saw the packaging that this was gonna be for me. And this first candle is Mon Amour. Now I picked this up in the Three Wick 100% Soy. Fragrance notes on Mon Amour are Vanilla Orchid, Crimson Blooms, Sugar Crystals, Star Jasmine, Caramel Strands, Oak Moss, Red Amber, Gilded Musk, Sandalwood. Now this, if you are unfamiliar with the um, Kringle brand or maybe you're a little bit new to them, this size jar is the same size as your Bath & Body Works format. So if you are familiar with what a Bath & Body Works size jar is, it's the exact same jar. If I were to hold them up side by side, you would see that they are the same. This fragrance, by now, especially most of you have already seen, you know, seen plenty of these videos. This is very, very similar to Baccarat Rouge 540. I wouldn't say it's exact. Um, I have the Dossier Dupe, um, which is, what's it called, Ambery Saffron. Very similar to the Baccarat Rouge. You guys know your girl here is just not gonna spend $300 to $400 on a bottle of perfume. I will spend $49. So I have that version. And this candle smells very similar to it. There is an element that, I wouldn't say it's slightly sweeter because that makes me think of, um, Oh, what's the other perfume that a lot of people draw a comparison to? The Ariana Grande Cloud perfume. There's something in here that I smell that's slightly more like of a, I don't want to say gourmand note, but it might be that top note of um, maybe like those caramel strands in here. That's what my nose is smelling on cold. It's similar, very, very similar to the perfume that it is inspired by, but I would not say that it is a spot on dupe for it, but it's very pleasant. I am very excited to burn this one. Not even going to lie to you guys. I'm going to go ahead and take the B-roll footage after this, take a couple of pictures, and then I am going to light this one up tonight because I'm very curious to see how that one smells upon burn. And then the other candle that I picked up in the three wick, actually, honestly, I didn't pick up this one at first and then I had ordered, I was so excited to order on, um, what was that, last Monday morning that I went ahead and ordered, I added the Daylight Bundle to my cart, checked out everything and then somebody in the Kringle group on Facebook was like, I hope you didn't pay for that Daylight Bundle because it was the free gift with purchase. 
I realized that I was so excited. I added everything in and that is what pushed my total to greater than $125. Anyways, long story short, I emailed customer service. They got back to me right away. And I told them, I said, can I just throw in another candle to make my total more than that? Um, they went ahead, they obliged. Um, they, they were amazing customer service because I've actually had to email them twice um, over my bungling of orders. <laughs> And um, they've been fantastic both times. So if you've never ordered from the company and you are um, curious about how the customer service goes, because this is primarily an e-commerce site, they do have a flagship store in Massachusetts. I'm in Arizona, so I'm not going into the store anytime soon. Just know that their online service is very, very good. All right, so this candle is Salt Water Taffy. Again, this is in the Painted Vessel three wick, 100% soy. The fragrance notes on this are sea salt, sugar, vanilla, strawberry, fruit, sweet. So this is really good, you guys. And this is coming from somebody, you guys know how I am with strawberry scents. Sometimes they do not come off very pleasant to my nose. This to my nose does smell like eating one of those strawberry taffies that you get. Now, they did a really good job with getting that salt water or like sea salt air accord into this candle. I'm very well familiar with how um, salty air smells. I, even though I call Arizona home now, I grew up in Southern California. I spent the first 21 years of my life there. Um, and I still go back and visit because I have family over there. You better believe I'm at the beach at least once every month or not month, every summer. <laughs> nice if I was there every month, but at least once every summer I make a trip to the beach. It is my happy place. Yes, strawberry, um, sea salt air. I'm really excited to burn this one alongside one of the country candle picks um, because a couple of my friends have said that that would give kind of that boardwalk aesthetic. Um, I really, really like this one. I'm glad that I picked it up in the three way. All right, let's move on to some of these daylights that were available or are available now in the uh, Kringle lineup. Now, a lot of these new releases, last I checked, the daylights and the wax melts were not yet available for some of the new country lineup, but they are available in the Kringle ones. And so this first daylight, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a spoiler here, is in the scent Sea Breeze. So little tiny daylight here that I have Sea Breeze. Oh, I like this one. Okay, the fragrance notes on Sea Breeze, top notes of ozone and coconut, mid notes of fruit and green, and the base note of coconut and amber. Now, spoiler alert, <laughs> I placed the order last Monday, and then I got to seeing some of the reviews from some of my friends who are fellow ambassadors and received the candles a little bit earlier in PR, and they were starting to share their impressions. And once they started talking about them more, I realized I was like, oh, I should have added that sea breeze into my cart. So what did I do? Well, last week I placed another order for some of the reserve line candles, um, which reminds me, I have a reserve line candle that I need to include here in this haul. So I will make sure I go and grab that. Um, but I went ahead and threw in a three wick of this. I'll go ahead and insert a picture in so that way you can see what the three wick looks like. Um, so spoiler alert, when I get that candle shipment in, it sh I just got shipping notification for it. It should be here next week. Um, and then I will film a haul, of course, for you guys. Um, when I get that video up for you guys, just know that this in a three wick will be included in there. But what does my nose smell? This is um, a very, if you don't like coconut, you're not gonna like this one. I, there is a coconut note in here, but this is very much a beachy coconut, borderline the same type of coconut that I would smell in like a pina colada type of candle, but it's not quite as sugary sweet as that. It's a very, um, it's not floral, but you can smell what they, whatever they say makes up that green accord. I can smell that in here. I really, really like this. This is like a clean coconut smell. Mm, really, really good. I'm really looking forward to having that one in the three wick come to me. All right, here's one that is kind of surprising me, you guys, um, because you know that I have not typically said that I am a huge fan of florals. However, this is Botanicals. 
The fragrance notes on botanicals are top note, morning dew, rose water, orange blossom, mid notes, lily of the valley, pink jasmine, hyacinth, and the base notes of green bamboo, lilac leaves, meadow grass. I actually really like this candle. Um, well, it's the daylight, but I like this fragrance. And I'm not really one for florals. I don't know who I'm becoming because I'm finding that I keep saying I don't really like florals and yet I'm finding more and more floral candles that I really like. Um, yeah, this is good. Um, that hyacinth note is predominant in here. Smell a little bit of that lily of the valley. But whatever they're using to get that meadow grass accord, I feel like this is a floral, but it's very beautifully balanced out by something that's a little bit more of a green note instead of it just being the pungent floral right to your nose. Again, this may transform completely when I light it up. Now I will say that this may not be a candle that I go ahead and pick up right now because this is very much a spring-like candle to me. And I am I'm at the point right now where quite frankly, you guys, I have such a huge amount of candles that I am wanting to um, enjoy and burn this spring season that I feel like if I add one more floral to my lineup, I might start to feel even more overwhelmed. But this is one that I will definitely keep in the back of my mind and I might pick it up on a really good sale and then plan to burn it next spring. Um, or if I happen to get through my current collection faster than I am anticipating, then I would go ahead and pick it up. But um, that one is a surprising like to me. I actually do like it. All right, avocado and palm. Okay. This is another one. So the fragrance notes on this are top notes of sea salt, fresh air, green melon, mid notes of sun ripened avocado, water lily, apple blossom, and the base notes of palm leaf, aloe water, and beech wood. I really like this scent and I did not think that I would really like this one. Um, not that I didn't think that I would like this one, but I, I, I clearly didn't order it because I was a little bit hesitant about it. I will say that is one of the things that I really love about Kringle Candle is that they do offer these in these little daylight form, in this daylight format because it's like a votive on steroids essentially where you can light it up and really get to try it out. I want to say that these retail for about $3.75. I do have a 15% off code. Um, I will have it linked in the description box down below. I, below. I'm getting talking too fast, you guys. I'm excited. <laughs> um, my code is Joyful Life, but those do apply to the daylight. So I always encourage you to throw one of these in if there is ever a fragrance that you are unsure about and you're not yet ready to commit to a larger sized candle. This is a great way to test it out. I actually really like this one. Um, this is another one that I am contemplating picking up probably at a good sale. So I'm not gonna run onto the website right now and pick it up, but I, I actually would consider picking this one up. Um, this is a summertime scent to me. This is like a late spring, early summer. Um, my nose does smell, it smells clean, not clean cotton, but like there's a freshness in here. I definitely smell whatever they're calling green melon in here. It's not, um, it, it doesn't give me cucumber melon vibes, but there is a melon. I do smell a melon in here. I don't really smell avocado. Again, this is on cold sniff though. So these can completely transform when they're burning. This is just very clean. It kind of gives a similar clean summery aesthetic to my nose as like the ginger lily and palm on cold sniff. I actually really, really like this one. That one is going on a list of to buy. All right, and this other daylight that I picked up is Tea Time. So the fragrance notes on Tea Time, let me see, where is that? I wrote them all down on here. Okay, the, the fragrance notes for Tea Time, top notes of clove bud, zesty orange, cardamom, mid notes of star anise, steeped tea leaves, cinnamon, base notes of sandalwoods, and golden honey. This is very nice. This to me is more of a like fall fragrance, like a lot of other um, people who have gotten this and have talked about it on YouTube. I would agree with them saying that this to my nose, if you are a seasonal burner, this is more of a fall fragrance. It could even be like an evening fragrance to my nose. It is, it, it's funny because it's, even though I would say it's a fall fragrance, it's, it's very in line with what its name says, tea time. I do smell it and I think of a good black tea. 
Little bit of that spice and that star anise. I, I, do, I do smell that in here. Clove is in here for sure. Tiny little hit of, hint of um, citrus in that. Um, it says is it orange in there. Yeah. Cardamom isn't too heavy, but there is a little bit of earthiness from that. Steeped tea leaves. This is a beautiful fragrance. Now, I do believe that this is a, I don't want to say a repackage, but it might be a, a classic scent that they brought back and just renamed. Um, well, I guess then technically that would be a repackage, but I actually really like that fragrance, but it's not one that I would burn in the springtime. All right, so those are the, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I actually have all six then of the Kringle releases there. Let's go ahead and move over into the Country Candle lineup. Now, you guys, if you're familiar with the brand, if you've listened to some of their um, content creators here on YouTube who um, also cover Kringle, then I'm just being a gong here. You guys are probably well aware now that the Country Candle starting with this release are now switching over to 100% soy, which is news to my ears because I prefer the soy formula. I don't like paraffin wax. No shade on you if you do. It just, I don't like the way that it burns and performs in my home. So I was very excited to see that these are moving into a 100% soy wax. That being said, it is not the white wax or the um, tumbler style jars or even these three wick jars that are going on in the Kringle lineup. They are still staying true to the country candle aesthetic by keeping the apothecary style jars. I know that those are a throwback or homage to the um, founder, Mike Kittredge's, um, Michael Kittredge's um, roots with Yankee candles. So let's go ahead and talk about some of these country, con country candles. Um, I will let you guys know right now that I did not pick up two of the fragrances. Um, I might pick them up in a daylight format when they become available. Those last I checked are not yet available. Um, I don't have cookies and cream just because honestly the notes didn't really appeal to me. I'm unsure about that one. And um, the other scent that I actually do think that I personally would like but I didn't pick up is Sweet Peach and that is because if you have watched, <laughs> if you saw last spring's candle haul that I did with my husband, you will know that he made it abundantly clear that he does not like peach scents. So out of respect for him and the fact that I am spending our family's money on these candles, I did not pick that one up, but please know that I am really interested in that one. And I'm still contemplating picking that one up when these go on sale at some point um, to burn when he's not home. <laughs> All right. But these other candles, I went ahead and picked up coconut and blueberry tart. So the fragrance notes on this, do they list them on the bottom? So no, they are listed on the bottom of the Kringle Candle lineup here. I know that that is something that they're trying to incorporate more, but they're not on the bottom of these ones. So the fragrance notes, thankfully I was prepared and wrote them down. For coconut blueberry tart are the top notes are ozone and coconut, mid notes of fruit, uh, fruit and green, and then the base notes are coconut and amber. I like this scent. Um, the more I stick my nose in it, I like, there is a tartness to this. You know what it reminds me a bit of? The tartness in this, this is not the same fragrance, but that like tart biting that I get initially from this is very similar to um, a old throwback to Bath and Body Works. Remember Sun Ripe and Raspberry? If you were, um, if you were in your teen years in the late 90s, early 2000s, you remember that fragrance well. That is what this reminds me of. Now I will say one of the things that I am noticing on these um, country lines right now as I'm just looking at it is these seem to be sweating a little bit on the top, um, which I've heard is completely normal. The wicks are also different than the ones that are in the Kringle. These look like a little bit different wick style, which I do know that Mick Kittredge talked about that they had to use a different wick than they use in the Kringle jars. Um, so just be aware of that. It's not bad. It will likely need trimming. Um, I, in fact, I just watched a story from my friend Melanie and she was talking about how they were developing some carbon balls at the end and needed to be trimmed. They're not sooting or anything like that, but just know that you will have to trim these wicks. Anyways, going back to the fragrance on this one. There's a tartness to this. I smell coconut. What else is listed in here? But it is mixed with, with like a, like a blueberry type of note, like a berry note, a candied blueberry type of note. It's very sweet. Um, trying to think what else here. I, I always look to hear. 
I don't really smell anything green. Mm, what else is in here? Amber. I could, I could see a little bit of amber. I'm sorry. I'm like staring down here because I'm really trying to think through here. This is really, really good though. I like it. It's, it's like a mix of, it's not really a gourmand fragrance. So if you were looking for a gourmand fragrance, I wouldn't say that that's this, but this is like a tart fruity type of scent. So if you are somebody who likes, um, not astringent, but just a, a, a tartness to it, that sharp fruity type of note, then this would be the candle for you. The next fragrance that I picked up is Blue Raspberry. Now, I really like the color of this wax. This is really pretty. So Blue Raspberry, oh boy, there's a lot of notes listed here. Okay, top notes of lime, citron, glazed raspberries, sweet strawberries, mid notes of sugared blueberries, spun cotton candy, base note of dazzling sugar, crystal woods, and candied musk. I really like this fragrance. And you know what's so funny is this is one that I was kind of on the fence about. I wasn't so sure if I would like this one. And I would have to say that of the four that I am looking at right here, this is actually probably my favorite one. So what do we want to say about that? <laughs> I definitely get um, a little bit of that lime note in here. There is a citrus in here that I smell. But this is very much like a blue raspberry type of candy. Like when you pick up any kind of candies that are labeled as blue raspberry, um, I do think of that here. I like it a lot. Um, but again, this is this is not as tart as the coconut blueberry. So this that one has, I wouldn't even describe it as sour. It's just tart. It's a sharpness to it. This is more of a super sweet, um, a sweet fruity type of scent, almost artificial candy type of scent. I think that this would actually pair very well with the saltwater taffy. Um, that's what a couple of other people, Brett was saying that as well, was saying that these two together would give you kind of like that boardwalk vibe, but I, I am very excited about that one. All right, the next one that I'm gonna tell you guys, I thought I was going to be like over the moon about this one and I don't know. I feel a little so-so about this one. Okay, this is Cosmic Cupcakes. Again, beautiful purple wax here. Um, the fragrance notes on Cosmic Cupcakes are the top notes are candied lemon, orange juice, lime zest, red berries. Mid notes are coconut milk, cocoa powder, buttery caramel, base notes of sugar crystals, vanilla buttercream frosting. This to me, this to me reminds me a little bit, um, Brett was saying, it reminds me of like Fruity Pebbles. Um, and I know that this is not marketed as a cereal candle, but this is like Fruity, Be Fruity Pebbles with a little bit, I do actually smell a little bit of that cocoa powder in the background. It's not distinct and it's actually one of those scents that I feel like if you didn't know that that was listed as one of the fragrance notes, that you would be able to make the correlation that, oh, that's what I'm smelling. I'm smelling cocoa powder in there. But the more I smell this, that is what it reminds me of. It's like, first I smell fruity, um, like a fruity pebble type of vibe, but then I think like, well, maybe it's cocoa pebbles. <laughs> um, there is citrus in here, definitely. But the base of that, like there's a creaminess to this. So it's not as sweet in my opinion as blue raspberry. It's not tart like the coconut blueberry tart. Um, this is more of a gourmand. Now I'm going, I'm being honest with you guys. I'm not sure that I really love this scent. I, I like it. I think that this one might be a one and done for me. However, I have not burned it yet and you never know. I might light it up and be like, wow, I really love that one. Um, this one to me, I was expecting more lemon, I think, in this one. Um, and I think I'm just picking up more on that cocoa note in here. But it's still really good. I mean, it's good, it's good. I'm just a little like, eh. All right, here's the one, you guys, that I am, ugh. <laughs> I don't even know how to say this, okay? I am a little hesitant about this one because I don't like it on cold sniff. This is grapefruit and rosemary. So the fragrance notes on this, top notes are bergamot, lemon leaf, juicy pink, grapefruit. Mid notes, wild rosemary, white lavender, dewy garden greens, and the base notes of creamy white woods musk. Okay, so the reason I picked this one up is because you guys know that I love, love rosemary lemon. And I feel like that's a beautifully balanced candle between the rosemary and the lemon. 
This to me, oh, you guys, I don't know. I, I don't know about this one on Cold Snip. There's something, there's rosemary, but I don't think I like the mixture of it with grapefruit. There's a vibe that I'm just getting from this that I just, mm, I hate saying this, you guys, but I don't love it on cold. It smells kind of, I mean, herbal for sure with the rosemary. That's, I don't think it's the rosemary that's bothering me in this. I think it's the grapefruit that's really bothering me. I don't know. This will be a candle that I'm going to be honest, I am actually going to go ahead and try burning it today because I'm like, you know what? I want to know, do I like this one or not? Because if not, I'm not going to waste my time <laughs> keeping going with it. Um, and it's actually a beautiful day where I have all of the windows open. So I figure if I don't like the scent after a while, I can always just air the house out and I won't have to smell it for too much longer. But yeah, I, I don't know about this one, you guys. There is definitely the rosemary note, but I don't like the grapefruit with it. It's giving off almost kind of like a, it's just pungent to me. I don't know. This is one where I should have been able to take my own advice and wait for either a sale to roll around or for daylights to become available in this, but that has not happened yet. So that is it. Those are my first sniffs with all of you. Let me know in the comment box down below. Did you pick up any of these candles? What are your first impressions? Do you like that uh, Country Candle has now moved over to 100% soy or are you on team paraffin? There's no wrong choice there. I mean, this is all frivolous fun, right? These are all just preferences. Um, but yeah, a couple of other things I just wanted to talk about on here really quickly. Um, you guys are seeing a lot of candle hauls coming up on my channel right now, and I just wanted to address something really quickly. Um, I know that I had seen a post earlier this week talking about like, I, I really want to buy, you know, the new collection. Um, specifically, this person was talking about the Easter collection that did launch this last week. And, um, you know, my heart just kind of went out to this individual because I also realized that in our current economy, you know, candles are not a roof over our head, food in our mouth, you know, utilities on, clean water, you know, those kinds of things. This is a frivolous luxury. And so I always want to say that I hope that you find this channel more, I want to be informative, but if, if you like to just watch this channel because you like to gather information or maybe it's your way of spending time with me or whatever it is, please know that it is 100% okay if you cannot purchase these candles right away. I will always tell you that. In fact, I responded back to that individual saying, you know what, honestly, and this is the God's honest truth, you guys, if I did not have a channel where I was providing this kind of content for you, I would not probably be purchasing these at the first release. I am the type of person by nature that typically hates to pay full price on anything. I will wait for a sale. All things eventually go on sale. It is not worth purchasing something if it is ruining your peace of mind and you're going over budget or maybe you can't pay for something that you really need now because you wanted to spend it on something frivolous. This is scented wax. It will be here. As far as I know, most of these, as long as they do well, will probably be incorporated into the core collection. These are not limited edition. So a sale will come around and if you can't afford it right now, that's totally fine. The reason you see so many hauls here on my channel is because I do want to provide you with as much information as I possibly can. Um, I do receive a little bit of compensation from those of you who choose to use my um, ambassador code. And so I have told you, and I honestly have done this, I just go ahead and roll it back into purchasing new products for you to review. Um, but the truth of the matter is, is that hauls do get a lot of views on my channel. And as a smaller channel that is trying to grow, um, that is just the reality of the situation right now. Um, my husband is supportive of what I'm doing. And so, yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. I never, ever want you to view me as saying, you've got to run out and buy these. You don't. You don't, you guys. You can wait for a sale. And then even if it is a limited edition product and it goes out of stock, it just wasn't meant to be. And you know what, guess what? There's always new stuff coming out and something better is gonna come along down the line anyways when maybe you're in a better position and you would feel better about making that purchase. So, gonna get off my soapbox there. Um, with that being said, I do have 
Um, I did go ahead and place an order for some of the other reserve line candles. Oh, I forgot to talk about the other one. I'll throw that one in next week's video so that way I'll kind of have all of my reserve candles together and you can see my thoughts about those um, when that order comes in. I also was able to get my hands on the Easter collection. Uh, there were three candles that they released. One of the scents unfortunately was out of stock within I want to say seven hours of the release. I mean it sold out quickly um, but I will go ahead and do a little first sniffs video with you for that. Also wanted to let you guys know that um, I, I do plan to review all of these. I have a huge collection right now. I'm not saying that like in terms of like, oh, I'm bragging, I have a huge collection, but I do have a large collection that I am trying to work through enough so that way I can get some dedicated reviews going for you. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that way you can catch my Saturday 6 series because that's typically when I talk about candles that I have been burning but I haven't yet gotten around to doing a dedicated review on. Um, so that series is a good place to find some thoughts about this. I will also be um, posting some thoughts over on Instagram. So if you have that social media platform, make sure you're following me over there. Um, but yeah, a couple of these fragrances, because I am a seasonal burner, you may not see me talking about them until probably <laughs> until a few more months, maybe May or June, just because some of them are more summertime scents in my opinion. But those that I feel like I can burn right now, I will keep you updated. So that's my little housekeeping spiel. Um, again, don't forget to hit thumbs up if you found this video helpful. It lets me know that you like seeing content like this. Um, and always feel free to comment in the, the comment box down below. Just any of your experience with these things, um, chime in because you are an important member of this fragrance community. And I always genuinely like to hear your feedback. Just always remember to keep it respectful, not only of myself, but other members of our wonderful community. So. With that being said, I'm going to get to burning these, getting to taking some pictures and sharing with all of you, but I want to say thank you so much for spending your time here with me today, and until my next video, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.